Hi, my name is Jan and today I'll be showing you around the new 2245 sound level meter from Brillinkare in combination with Work Noise Partner. Work Noise Partner app is a complete and easy solution for making noise assessment in any working environment. I'm going to show you how to use Work Noise Partner in combination with your mobile device and at the end I will show you how to import and analyze data inside the Work Noise Partner app for Windows. I'm also going to show you how easy it is to import measurements from dosimeters and how to analyze and at the end generate reports. Let's start by connecting your SLM meter to your mobile device. In this case, I'm using an iPhone 8 running the latest software iOS 13. There are two ways of connecting your SLM meters to your mobile device. You can use local Wi-Fi connection, connect your device to the same Wi-Fi as the sound level meter and connect the devices that way. A more secure and reliable way of connecting is via hotspot generated by your SLM meter. We do that by going into the SLM meter settings. We go down to the system settings. We go to net network settings. We're going to go to Wi Fi settings. And we're going to go to Wi Fi mode, act as hotspot. I'm going to set my Wi Fi password to ABC12345. And I'm going to go back the menu and set the device password ABC123. We're going to need this password for connecting to our mobile device. We're going to open up the Work Noise Partner app downloaded from the App Store. First, we will choose the language. I'm going to choose English. And now we are prompted with a quick tutorial. So I'm going to skip that. And I'm going to click connect to the instrument. The instrument should be automatically discovered. This SLM is named SLM test. So I'm going to click it. It's going to show me that it's connecting. And I'm going to show you the first option connect as hotspot. It's going to ask me to join to the SLM hotspot. I'm going to click join. Now we will input the password. As before mentioned, it was ABC123. Connect. And the device is now connected. We can also change some settings here. We have basic measurement settings. We have display settings. And we also have system settings. If you want to disconnect this device in the future, you would want to go into the menu and click disconnect icon. Now let's go to the home screen. Now we have two options. We can create a new project or we can see the list of our pre previous projects. I'm going to click create project. You can insert a logo company or any photo you want. In this case, I'm going to insert a BMW logo. I'm going to name the project BMW. This is a sample project, so I'm going to name it BMW. I could also add a description, contact information, and I can also select different standards that are supported by Work Noise Partner. In this case, I'm going to select ISO 9612. I'm going to click Save. The project is now created. If we quickly go through the user interface, you can see the Edit button at the top. We can see three sorting buttons, which is all, done, and not done. This is going to be useful in the future, where you have multiple tasks and exposure group, and you want to create enough measurements to comply with the standard. In the All tab, all the tasks and exposure groups are going to be displayed. In the Done tab, only the exposure groups and tasks that have enough measurements taken are going to be displayed. In the non-done tab, of course, you're going to have exposure groups and tasks that do not have enough measurements to comply with the standard. So this is a really useful and effective way of seeing which measurements need to be taken. At the bottom, we have two tabs, which are names tasks and jobs. We can create a new task or create a new exposure group. When you create a new task, you can name the task. I'm going to name the task sending. I'm going to create done, and this is going to create a new task. If I open up the standing task, 
I again have two options. I can add from the list where I can select all the measurements taken with the SLM meter. If I select first two and click import, if I left swipe on the task, I have two buttons. The first one is annotations and the second one is the measurement deletion inside this task. That does not mean the measurement is actually going to be deleted on the SLM meter. The delete button is going to remove the measurement from this task only and not from the SLM itself. If I click the first button, we can go to the annotations. We can see this measurement has no annotations, so I can add it later. I have four options in this case. I can add a photo, a video, a note, or a voice memo. Let's go back. So in this case, I'm going to delete the first two measurements and we're back to the beginning. In this case, when I prepare the task, I can close it and maybe I want to create a new exposure group. In this case, name this exposure group assembly area. Because this is an exposure group, I can assign the number of workers within this exposure group. I will select four. Perfect. Let's say now we have all the tasks and exposure group defined. Now we are at the location and ready to take measurements. After we've connected to the SLM meter, we're going to go into the app, click projects. And here is going to be our project that we've created earlier. If we click the project, we will see all the tasks and exposure groups. Let's take a new measurement. We're going to expand the sanding task and we're going to click measure. We're going to be prompted with a warning, which is specified by your standard, which parameters need to be taken. We're going to click yes. It's going to automatically set up the instrument based on that standard. And now we're taken to, to the measurement screen. At the top, we have measurement time, a five minute mark. If we click the information button, we're going to see a pop up of recommended time of the measurement from the ISO 9612. Right below that, we have a spectrum. And if we swipe left, we have a time-based domain level. Right below that, we have three parameters, equivalent LC peak level and a LAF max level. Below that, we have a task selection. So a really powerful feature of this application is to just switch between tasks and exposure groups right within the measurement screen. I'm gonna go back to sanding. And at this point, I'm ready to take the measurements. All the controls are at the bottom, so I can start a measurement by pressing record. It's indicated by the green bar at the top and also the green light on the SLM meter. You can also swipe right to see the spectrum. I can also create some annotations. So I'm going to click the annotations bar. And in this case, I'm going to take a photo. I'm going to create a new photo. I'm going to take a new photo. This photo is automatically going to be attached to that measurement. I'm going to click use photo and I'm going to exit. I'm going to stop the measurement by sliding right. And the measurement is automatically going to be attached to the sending task. Just to illustrate the done and not done indication, I'm going to create three measurements. So in this case, I'm going to start measuring. I'm going to attach the measurement automatically and I'm going to take another one and I'm going to stop the measurement. Measurement is going to be attached. I can also discard it here at the top, or I can just close and all the measurements are going to be displayed inside the sanding task. Let's go also to the assembly area. And just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to add the measurements from the list and I'm going to take the other measurement. Let's say I have on the SLM meter from previous work and I'm going to click import the equivalent level is automatically going to be calculated. And now I can demonstrate the done and not done. So now if I click done, the sanding task has three measurements, which means it's compliant with the ISO 9612. If I click not done, I'm going to get the assembly area, which is the exposure group that I've created earlier. And that means there is not enough measurements for this exposure group to be compliant with the ISO 9612. In this case, I need to take more measurements. And if I go to the measure, I can see that I need to take at least five hours of measurements displaying right below the timer. So in this case, of course, a tripod is necessary for this measurement to be taken.
now that we're done with the tasks, we're going to go into the jobs and we're going to create a new job and we will name that job John. We're going to click done. If I open up this job, I can easily attach all the tasks and exposure groups from previous measurements. If I select add exposure group or task, I'm going to be prompted with a, a task list. So here we can assign tasks and exposure groups during the nominal workday. We have sanding and assembly area. I'm going to select, let's say, John is working two hours, or let's say three hours. And he's also working in an assembly area the rest of the day. If I go over, I can see that nominal workday is exceeded. When I click save, this job is now created. And now we can see the calculated eight hour exposure level. If I go back to the projects tab, I can also see the indication of completed job and tasks. So as previously mentioned, we've created a task that has the compliant measurements within the standard ISO 9612, but we need to take more measurements for the assembly area. When we've taken all the needed measurements, our work here in the mobile app is done. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to connect your SLM device or your dosimeter directly to the Work Noise Partner app for Windows. If we open up the app, we are prompted with a really simple user interface. If we go at the top, at the import, this here is an import window. So first, we're going to connect to the hotspot of our SLM meter. Here in the network settings, we can see the BK2245. We're going to connect to that. Network password is ABC12345. This is not the same password as before in the app. We can click Allow Access. And as you can see, it automatically displays in the found instruments. Click our instrument and click Connect. And this password is going to be ABC123. Connect. So this is going to be the same password as before on the mobile device. And here we can see the list of our projects. If we go to BMW Factory, we can click Import. It's going to download all the measurements from your device onto your computer. And there you go. We have all the measurements that are inside this project. Here on the left sidebar, we have all the measurements. We have all tasks and exposure groups here in the task folder. So we have sending and assembly area. And we also have one job that we've created, which is John. And John also has the appended task and assembly area. From here on, we can analyze the data, play around with all the graphs. So if we go to sending tasks, for example, we can see all the measurements that have been taken. Here at the bottom, we have two sections. We have a time-based level graph and we have a spectrum. So we can also click around through all the different frequencies, and I can also click through the time domain graph and see all the levels. So we have two parameters here. We have LC peak, and we have LA equivalent level. At this point, I can also go to the job selection. So we have John, and we can also see the assigned tasks and exposure groups for John. So here we have five hours of exposure, and we have three hours of exposure of sanding. Here I can see the hearing protection button. So a really powerful feature is I can add a hearing protection units. In the top button, hearing protection database, I'm going to click the import button. I'm going to import a database. I'm going to close it and I'm going to append a hearing protection unit, select it, and right when I do that, you can see the compensated exposure level right here. This way, it allows you to easily and accurately predict and choose the right hearing protection equipment. Let's say at this point, I want to also add measurements from our dosimeter. Turn the dosimeter on and use the supplied cable, the adapter, plug it in. Connect the IR receiver. 
just like that. If we go back to the app, right beside the import icon, we have the dosimeter con connection. And here we're going to click detect. All the measurements from the dosimeter are now being displayed here. And I can click import. Now all the measurements are imported inside the measurements folder in the sidebar. So now I'm going to show you the powerful feature of reporting of the WorkNoise Partner app. We can create different types of reports. If I want to export measurements, I will click the measurement folder. I will go to export and I will generate measurement report. So here we have a simple report of a measurements only. If at this point I want to export tasks, I'm going to create a report for the tasks. I will select the task folder. I will go to export. And I, I can see here we have BMW factory tasks. I will click generate. So here we have a simple report file of all the tasks. And here at the bottom we have different tabs. We have organization tab, setup tab, tasks, measurements, and also at the end, attached measurements. I'm going to close, and now I'm going to create the most powerful report of jobs. I will select jobs folder. I will go to export, and I will click generate. Here we have open Excel spreadsheet file. Here we can see all the jobs. In this case, we only have one job. So this is going to be John and all the appending tasks. So this is a really powerful and simple feature of the WorkNoise Partner app for Windows in combination with the mobile app. Makes for a really easy, accurate noise assessment in any working environment. Job done. Thank you.